that you go angel wings by giving you another collective pick a pile reading okay today i want to ask what makes you so attractive you have pile number one with happy vibes okay pile number two real calm okay so those are your choices now let's start with pile number one happy vibes okay so let's find out what is it that makes pile one so attractive okay so right away i feel like you are an optimist okay you're someone that's very warm very bubbly okay you could be a very confident person people like your energy okay so you energize people okay you're a very sunny person you have a lot of like light light energy light heartedness playfulness okay cheerful um so yeah you also might have a lot of masculine energy with the yellow coming through you could be a leo so I see you, someone very proud, people like this, people like, one second, Alexa, next song, um, people like, yeah, it's like you brighten things up, you're cheerful, I feel like you have a really nice smile, okay, there's something about your eyes as well, confidence as I split the deck, we also have fragment, okay, so yeah, I feel like people gravitate to you, you're someone that is very it's like um your energy is very you hold a lot of presence okay confidence i feel like a lot of people want to be around you or they want to like claim you they want to like hold you they want to touch you people want to touch you okay there's something about that you might have like um a nice body or something there's something about your body that people like to touch or hold high priestess of earth okay so you could be an earth sign here there's someone that's very stable, okay? So, I'm sorry, my phone cut me off. But yeah, so people admire your stability. You could be someone as well that is quite wealthy or you're very stylish, but you're you're casual. You're not over the top with things, okay? You're someone that likes to get things done, okay? And people know that if they come to you, um, you're not gonna bullshit, okay? So you are a very practical person. You're very knowledgeable as well. You could like to read, okay? You're good with your hands. Deceit. What people find attractive about you is that you are very seductive, okay? You're very charming. If you wanted to, you could probably talk your way into and <laughs> into anything belonging there on the deck. Um, it's like, yeah, you can really get into people's minds or you can understand their secrets. You have listening there. You're a very good listener. Um, yeah, so you have a lot of people that are attracted to you. You could be a very fiery, very passionate person, right? A lot of um, high sex drive where people are just very turned on by you. Yeah, sun and look. Your energy is like a moth to a flame. Okay, you like pull people to you. It's like, whoa. Okay, um, people feel there's a lot of power in your energy. You're also someone that's very intuitive, okay? You might um, be a water sign or you like the water. You could have something to do with the water. Yeah, you're magical. People are intrigued by you, okay? You're mysterious. You don't um, <clears throat> give everything away. A lot of you, I'm getting like empress energy. So you could be an empress or an emperor, someone that is very well put together someone that's very strong powerful they have a lot they're abundant okay beauty you're very beautiful so people are attracted to how you look okay very much on the body here it's like your physical looks turn people the fuck on okay it's something about just how you make people feel when they're around you honesty you're very honest an individual you're a very honest individual <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. <clears throat> You're a good communicator as well. And people find this sexy, okay? So, yeah, your voice, okay, your face as well. There's something about your face. You might have face tattoos or just some tattoos on your body. That's something here. Like, you could have arm tattoos, chest tattoos, a lot of face tattoos. Like, There's, like, every picture has face tattoos, strength you're very strong and we said that you're strong you're charismatic you're bold you go after what you want people are allured to this it's like you're very alluring there's a lot of fire here 
lot of energy okay you get people sprung people want to tie you down okay it's like they they want to to bind you to them and some trapped on the back they want to put you in a fucking cage like a little bird and just keep you there <sighs> the fledgling ah they don't want you to escape Okay, remind, don't forget, reminder, yeah, you're trapped, remember this, fucking hell, it's like, oh my god, so yeah, your innocence, okay, people really, really like this, okay, you're very feminine, there's all these women here in these pictures, so you might have like a very slender or feminine body, you could be very curvy, um, regardless, of your body type, there's something very feminine about it that people are just drawn to, okay? It's like magnetic. You could have long hair, you could wear your hair in a ponytail, you could have blonde hair or colored hair. Um, you might have nice earrings, like long earrings, okay? Some of you have a nice singing voice or speaking voice, but we've seen this. Fulfillment, okay? so. People want to indulge in you, okay? It's like, you're very, you have a lot, your character holds a lot of depth, okay? And people just want to get to know you more. The fledgling, okay? People want to get closer to you. People want to take risks when they're in your energy, okay? Because you make people feel confident in themselves. To the sea, you have a connection to water here. Breathe, mermaid energies. <laughs> Breathe in the sea. Okay, maybe you are a water sign or you just have a connection to the water. Okay, people know not to fuck with you as well. It's like people know that you can see through their bullshit. You can read people. Between worlds, it's another three here. So I feel like you're someone that does both, okay? It's like one moment you can be very gentle and sweet and then the next moment it's like like i just said like nobody can fuck with you because you have done it all basically it's like if people want to be bad if they want to get real then you can also get real okay so people see that there is another side to you um and that intrigues people okay you're not just like like one dimension, you're multi-dimensional, okay? Serendipity, people feel very lucky to be around you or to be able to know you, to be in your energy. Um, I feel like you're someone that is very inspiring, okay? You, you give people like sparks or like energy, okay? You, you, you could be very healing. Some of you could be like, um, you know, you could work in health. <laughs> me talks as i said that you can work in health repairing the body mind and spirit like i'm seeing you could be really good with your hands i'm feeling like warmth you could be reiki healer that's coming through quite strong actually with all this energy um massage okay so your physical touch drives people crazy you literally do turn people on okay you give people that wood <laughs> Look, it's a fucking big ass tree, okay? So you you make people rise in more ways than one, okay? Garden of Venus on the back. You have people in love with you. It's like you are their their flame, their fire, okay? You are my fire. That's so funny. Let's see what else people love, they find attractive about you. Love as I split the deck, what people love about you. <laughs> You are a very hard worker. You put a lot of effort into the things you do and people admire that. There's so many threes. You could be an empress. Like this is honestly what I'm getting. People just want to put you on lockdown. Your energy is so intoxicating. Okay. Whoa. Music. Look at that. So you are musical. It's like harmony. I see this little bird here and it's like, you're very sweet, you're very mystical, rebirth, okay, you're very strong, you've been through a lot, you're, you transform, okay, and I feel like you also help others to transform, and this attracts people to you, but something about your voice, you could be an artist, like you could be a singer, you could play an instrument, you could write music, okay, spiritual career, you could have a spiritual career, <laughs> okay, where are we going now, angels, anything else for pollen number one? What makes them so attractive? Wait, we have the traits here. 
so. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, there's people that just want to bind you to them. Great in bed as I split the deck. And now as I'm saying that, funny, you're funny. And people want to bind you to them. You're too good to be true. It's like that energy. Funny, you're very funny. Okay, funny energy is here. That is something that draws people to your personality. You're very warm and bright and cheerful. <laughs> Hella psychic. Hella psychic, okay? That is something that really attracts people to you. You're very psychic, okay? You're very spiritual. You're very connected to the earth as well. It's like you have both. You do both. You're between worlds. You're a medium. Oh my goodness, there you go. You're like a gateway for other energies, other spirits. You're a healer, a meat talks. You help others to repair themselves. You bring the peace. You bring the harmony. You're a genius, holy shit. People are attracted to your genius ass energy. You're also very loyal. People love that shit. You're stylish, okay? So yeah, that's what draws people to you. That's what people find attractive about you, pile number one. And I'm gonna leave it there. And I'm gonna move on to pile number two, real calm. Okay, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> what is up, pile number two, real calm, real calm. Okay, so if you chose this um, oil, then this is going to be your reading why people find you so attractive. So right away, I'm getting, I'm hearing hypnotic, hypnotic, hypnotism. Okay, so yeah, there's something quite mysterious about your energy. Okay, you might be very much cool headed. You might speak like very kind of like with a cool kind of tone. You know what I mean? Ah, my nose is itchy. Um. I feel like you could be quite triggering. That's weird. Like, it's just because my nose is itching. Like, I don't know. There's something about you that could cause, um, like, ah, tower moments for people. It's like people are intimidated by you or something like this. Definitely some jealousy coming through complicated as I split the deck. Uh -huh. Yeah, people can't figure you out, pal number two, and it's attractive, okay? This is what makes you attractive. You're like a riddle that needs to be solved. Okay, you might like the color purple. You might be very psychic or intuitive. <laughs> High Priestess of Air fell. Okay, oh my goodness, number six. I feel like you have a lot of lovers or past lovers that are thinking about you or they feel drawn or pulled to your energy, okay? Ah, but definitely people from your past are very much thinking about you right now. It's like, oh my God. Ah. <sighs> You've, like, broken some hearts or something like that. There's, yeah, you're very intelligent, okay? You're you're witty, okay? So you could be an air element, an air sign, an air element. But, yeah, what makes pile number two so attractive? Definitely, I'm getting, like, a heavy relationship. Like, there's people around your energy right now that are, like, heartbroken or something. Yeah, warrior, you're very strong. You're the warrior, you're a war Number two came out for pile number two, the warrior. That's so funny. I'm seeing that you, you're very hard to pin down, okay? People feel like you're elusive, okay? You're very mysterious, pile number two. You're, you're, there's a darkness here. I'm getting water. I'm seeing underwater, okay? Um, so you could be a water sign as well. You could like swimming, okay? You might have a very athletic body, okay? You might like to show your skin like t-shirts and stuff like this people like like how defined you are in your body okay your bone structure is very attractive to people okay and your knowledge so you have some sort of skill set or knowledge that people like yeah you make people feel like home okay people feel like familiar to you you're comfortable is what it is you're a very comfortable person um, people can get addicted to your energy. That's kind of what I'm getting here, okay? Strength, loyalty, individuality. You're very strong. You're very loyal. Okay, so people are attracted to how devoted you are to the things that you love, okay? That's what the fudge. Yeah, obedience just flipped over. You're so obedient to love. That's so nice. Okay, so there's something, although people can't figure you out, it's like they know that you're a very loyal person, you're loyal to your cause, okay, so 
this is attractive. I see you as someone that can be like focused on your own things or in your own world, but that's just part of the mystery and what people love so much about you. But see, what is it that people find attractive about pile number two? It's like this pile doesn't want to talk. It's interesting. What is it, Angel? Okay, you can be feisty, right? You have a very feisty side to you. Okay, fragment, meditation. You could be quite spiritual, okay? I see you as someone that's kind of like a loner. So people, again, it's just like people want to be around you, but it's like, I don't know if you want to be around people. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, I'm hearing drifter. You'd be a, like a drifter. You like to um, do things spontaneously. Focus, okay? So... I feel like a lot of people are focused right now on your energy. It's quite interesting. It's like you're so hard to pin down that that makes people more like obsessed with you, okay? Um, people just want to get into you. They want to get like deep into you. Choices there on the back. So, and you do, you have like the duality here, half light, half dark. So you have like, um, a hidden side to you, okay? And it's like people want to get in there. It's like they don't know how though. It's like, how? What do I do? What do I say? Okay, but you are like hypnotizing, okay? People want to spend time with you. They want to be around your... They want to be like in your space. That's what I'm getting. It's like... Yeah. Your energy is very big. Okay, well beauty oh my goodness just like how one okay so you're definitely very beautiful very handsome okay you could have like like this type of hair like i don't know like how would you call that for, for me this is very short hair but i guess for some men you would call that long but i don't know guys you could have hair people like your hair okay hair is an emphasis here also you could have some sort of physical skill, like this girl here has a bow and arrow, so you could do something like a sport, or you have some sort of like hidden talent that um people really like, okay? It makes you, it's like, there's something about you that's a bit different. You could have tattoos, face tattoos, okay? So you're a bit of a baddie, okay? You're very successful, you could be a boss. Um roses okay you're very passionate you're a very passionate lover okay people love that about you they're very attracted to you're very charming okay but longing again people just want to tie you down it's like they don't want you to get away from them it's like nope you're not getting away <laughs> movement on the back like no no you move forward through things very quickly okay you might like traveling okay you might be someone that's into traveling and things like this lust again see all this energy this sexual energy you have people that just want to like like pounce on you it's insane okay but yeah you're like you're like a boss so you're like focused on your own things like your belonging oh god i'm getting like 50 shades of gray energy okay you're a very dominant person it's like you like to Hat, like like with the flower the rose here it's like in beauty and the beast where he has the flower the rose in a tank or something whatever it is a globe a, a jar okay <laughs> that's like your energy okay people are like i want it i want you okay people want want you okay that's there's a lot of lust coming through okay you're a very good listener, okay? So I feel like you're a very understanding person, rigid, all this energy, okay? So you just turn people on, okay? People are very confused by you. They can feel quite conflicted, but just drawn, okay? There's a lot of mysticism coming through. You might own a lot. You could be a wealthy person, but someone definitely that has like power and prestige. All right, I also see you can have like... um like a, 
how would I describe it's like you have friends or something like your friends talk well about you or you have people looking out for you something like that high priestess of spirit loyalty and I was getting that it's like you have a connection to spirit it's like you have you know you could have uh, spirit guides communicating with you giving you downloads telling you to go this way that way the next thing it's like you have that connection to other worlds okay you have a guide number 33 okay so you could have a partner this could be a relationship within your life as well but yeah you're full of life is like creativity with this rose here lots of fertile energy so you could have whoa well, you could be an artist or an inventor obedience high priestess of spirit so there's something coming through about your obedience to your spiritual path your self-care your spiritual maintenance okay people really admire this they think it's sexy that you're so loyal to yourself okay you're someone that really fights for what they want in this world it's like if you see it you want it then you got it okay that's your energy fucking hell you have a very strong vision what the hell understanding okay so yeah you're like you're very helpful as well people you say things to people that really help put helps to put things in perspective you know people can see things okay like you tell the truth okay you're someone that brings honesty into situations that might be like twisted or dark it's because of how you see the situation you're able to understand things on a very deep level okay you have good sense of inner knowing okay very strong person so where are we going now angels let's see what else do people yeah we've got a lot about fighting you might be like you may be like fighting okay or there's just you like working out there's something about your strength your skills okay higher power see you have all this connection to spirit and like people are like so drawn to this it's like powerful people are attracted to the power <laughs> okay that's interesting what's going down angels what why do people find pile number two so attractive higher power you're someone very very strong this is emperor energy as well with the number four so you bring things together okay you're like a powerful powerful manifester okay so the things that you see in your head you're able to actually pull them into existence okay so yeah very good with designing things creating things yin energy okay so very subtle okay so your energy is kind of like subtle but diplomatic okay you always kind of bring a breath of fresh air or calmness real calmness okay it's like yeah we're just gonna fucking sort it out aren't we to be fair like that's just it um <laughs> you have a lot of friends or something you have a community of people that look up to you higher power okay you're someone that's very blessed okay you could be spiritually gifted and people love this they think it's really sexy they think it's mysterious okay the divine matrix is i split the deck <laughs> okay it's like you're escaping the matrix and people love that they want to come with you you're very hard you're someone that's very hard so you're blunt okay you say what you want to say okay and you're not scared you're never gonna back down from a fight and people know that that's why they don't want to go against you because it's like you're just ready to fuck shit up you're ready to tear shit down <laughs> Ah, you got beloved look look how many people love you or at least they have this passion and lust and fire for you okay so you're on a lot of people's minds first breath beginner's mind on the back okay so many people just can't stop thinking about you okay people think that they have spiritual connections with you like i'm your soulmate okay that's how much you like magnetize people it's like this really subtle energy that takes people's breath away there you go now one more the you you okay mm -hmm. you're not afraid of like your dark side okay so you're very well balanced is what i'm getting okay you could be very very masculine but also there's that yin energy the gentleness that comes through it's 
it's it's interest it's funny health okay okay you're very strong you might be someone that's very much into taking care of your health your body that turns people on look spiritual career the dedication you have to your spiritual path okay so you're someone is very moral okay you have a lot of good principles in your life and people know that you know they can depend on you and that really drives people crazy because they want that they want that okay let's get some traits and then we'll finish we got small and stylish okay small and stylish but what is it that people find so attractive about palm number two angels spiritual are you fucking kidding me spiritual baddie <laughs> you're a spiritual baddie out here in these streets that's so funny okay all the way 100 okay big big money see you're like wealthy that's so funny big money belonging you could like own something you could have a business people are like mm-hmm that's sexy <laughs> yeah people can't get too close to you and hot head just fell as i said okay you keep people at distance and it's yeah big money so you're like protecting stuff why okay we also got childish jesus uh, okay so yeah, childish, big money again on the back there. So whatever you do for work draws people to you as well. They find, what the fudge? They find it really attractive. My goodness, what's happened here? Okay, there we go. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Oh, we have one more. You're street smart. Street smart. People like that you're street smart. It makes you a baddie. It makes you sexy. It turns people on. People are very hot over you. Okay. Now, I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you, but if this resonated, you can let me know. I love to hear about it. So, yeah, thank you.